So, somebody leave a leave a comment. Uh, I shall hang around and wait to see if anybody <coughs> leaves a comment because I didn't schedule this live stream. I just pulled it out of the spur of the moment. We are in Maramag, Bukidnon, Mindanao, Philippines. Uh, Biaz Restaurant Cafe, but we're going for a walk. We're going for a walk around Maramag Town. My mango Graham. Can you see anything on your phone? If there's any uh, live chat replay. But because I'm horizontal, we might even sharp on this. <coughs> the, the live stream's up, but because the phone is horizontal, yeah. I don't know whether it'd show up anyone who, who leaves a comment, it might not show it up. Right, so this is the comment button here. Uh, live chat. Yeah. There you go. Welcome to live chat. Let me know your... Oh, hello Nick! I can see you. Can you hear me? That's the thing. Can you hear me? Because I've got this habit of, of hitting the wrong button and muting the audio. <laughs> anyway, hello Nick, where are you? Where, are you in England? Or are you in uh, Philippines? We're going to go for a walk. Uh, uh, Stefan? Hello from Germany. Hello. How you doing? Nick, UK. Oh, you're up early on a Saturday morning. It's four o'clock around about over here in the afternoon. So it must be about 8 a.m. in the morning where you are. Well, good on you, Nick, for getting up early. If you ain't got work, I would have still been in bed. Anyway, I'm going to go for a walk around the town because the whole purpose of this video, or live stream, is to just walk around Maramag. You'll see how, how the traffic is, how uh, bad it is over here, but it's, it's all good fun to look to watch. I'll turn this camera around, see if I can get into the shade. The sun has been beaming all day long, it's so warm, it's like 34 degrees today. Okay. We're on the move. Have oh, you got your phone? Yeah. Let me know if there's any chat, in, any names I can call. Oh, okay. you, want me to read you want me to read the yeah. chat on my phone? Yeah, yeah, if you could. Yeah, the, the uh, let me flip that back round. If anybody leaves any live chat, what I was going to do, because Tyler's walking with me, he can read the live chat to me. It saves me trying to squint my eyes on this phone. It's not the fact that the letters are that small, I can read them sometimes, but the uh, the light out here is so damn bright. I've got even my sunglasses on, I can't even see the phone screen. Anyway, I'm going to flip this round. This is Maramag Town in Bukidnon. Mindanao, Philippines. It's only a small little town. Okay, so we have Nick. Do you feel a bit more settled in the Philippines? Uh, hello, Nick. Uh, yeah, we're getting we're getting quite comfortable here, indeed. It's uh, it's lovely. The, the 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 insects were my biggest problem. The mosquitoes. But I'm going to come to that later because I've uh, changed my lifestyle since I've been here. And now I've got to the point where they're hardly biting me at all. And it's, it's nasty being bit by the mosquitoes because they, they sting. Especially when you get them on your legs. You're, you're bloody itching and stinging and it ruins your day. But I'm going to make a separate video on the mosquito situation. 
Okay, we have Hello Allen. It's about 4.15 p.m. here in Western Australia and about 34 degrees here in the southwest from John Presland. Oh, who's the first name? John Presland. Hello, John. John in Australia? Yes. John Presland in Australia. Yeah, I didn't know that until last week. I never even bothered to look to find out that Western Australia is at the same time zone as what we are here in the Philippines. So that's, <laughs> I did wonder because I was getting quite a few people from Australia leaving comments. So there you go. Nick has typed insect repellent, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Nick, yes. Uh, they sell here what's called off lotion. If we walk down where the Centro is. Okay. It's gonna be a pain getting past this road. I'm gonna just run for it. <laughs> it's traffic. This is the busiest street in town. Yeah, I've got what's called off lotion, if you can hear me. It's called off lotion. It's the best stuff they have over here. I hardly ever put it on, but when I do put it on, I normally wear it, this lotion in the late afternoon time or evening when, when the mosquitoes are hungriest, when they want to bite me because they, they find me irresistible. So, uh, 2006 came, said, any Monderas around? Hello Kane, uh, no, zero, zero, zero when it comes to Mondeos. <laughs> I've seen a few Fiestas and I've seen a Ford Focus. But I think when you, if you were to actually walk around here, there is very limited amount of cars or different makes of cars. The main make is Toyota and it's a, they're called Toyota Vios. There's thousands of them everywhere. There are some Mitsubishi Mirages. The rest of them are all pickup trucks. But it's not like England where you've got loads and loads of different makes and models of cars. There just isn't that godly up here. We have Dwayne Wood. Hello, Dwayne. Hi, Alan. Glad you're all doing well. Keep posting. Price is so cheap. All the best, mate. <laughs> hey, hey, Dwayne, I want to show you exactly how cheap it is over here. Right, stand here, Tyler. You see, you see this, uh, I'm going to get my head out of the way. You see this bag on Tyler's, his bum bag, well, it's not a bum bag, shoulder bag. <laughs> that he purchased, how much do you think? That bag was 90 pound, 90 pound. I told you it was cheap over here. Uh -huh. I told you. <laughs> anyway, no, it is. It's cheap over here if you look for the right cheapness. But I can tell you now, it's not as cheap as what a lot of people would like to make out. You can find yourself paying the same kind of prices you would pay back in England quite often. Depends where you go. And what you're searching for. I think the longer the longer you're here, you would actually come to appreciate sort of like where what you've got to look for and where to go when you're being ripped off and when you're not. Dwayne Woods replied should get should have got a suitcase. <laughs> yeah the only reason Tyler got that bag is because he's got this uh, trials bike or dirt bike. He wanted a bag that was convenient with lots of compartments in it so he can uh, ride the bike and it'll be strapped to him nice and tightly rather than wearing a rucksack on his back. Yes, and convenient it is. If you like motorcycles, this is the place to be. Look, you've got Woody here. We ain't got the, we ain't got the actual uh, brown hat. <laughs> he had the cowboy hat. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you something, Dwayne. We went into a department store today and they had the actual, remember, what's that Woody out of? Toy Story. Toy Story. Woody, he's got the, the hats, the, the bloody light cowboy hats, the brown ones. We put the hats on and took our photograph. So I'll, <laughs> I'll put that out later. Um, Nick said, what are you doing for cash? For cash? Well, I have my house uh, let out. So I have, I have income from that. 
that's that's basically it. Uh, plus, I have money in the bank. So, but you know, I, I, I the, the thing is, I like everybody else. When you decide to do something, like go and move to another country, how can I put it? I, I watch a ton of videos on what other people were saying. But, you, see, you know, unless you actually live the situation yourself and do it, you're never going to know for sure how it's going to work for you. So, I mean, I'm just taking it nice and slow, day by day, trying to work it out and seeing how what materialises. Hillbilly John says, Morning, lads. How much is petrol and diesel? It's in pesos over here. I'd have to actually convert that. I got you, I got you. Uh, it's about, we paid about 62 pesos, did we? Yeah. For, for, for what's that, what, a litre? Yeah, a litre for petrol, special gasoline over here, is about 66 pesos to a litre. Diesel's a lot cheaper, maybe at least 61. Yeah, I don't know what that 60 pesos in pounds is. 60 peso a litre is 0.85 pence. So 80, eight, yeah. Yeah, 85 pence a litre, not exactly cheap. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, not, it's not as cheap as what you might think. There's a lot of things, especially when it comes to electricals, you'd be, you'd be paying quite dear prices for. But I think a lot of the stuff here is imported from like Japan and places like that. Um, we go go through the market. Andy Kale said, "Will you be looking to get a job?" No, no. Number one, I, I can't I can't work here anyway, officially because I'm not allowed to. I'm on a a tourist visa, and in order to be able to work over here, I think you've got to meet a certain requirements, and I. <laughs> Them requirements I don't have. I don't know what they are. It's nothing I've looked into. <clears throat> but I'm not allowed to actually come over here and actually work. So we have Matty England and Stagman72. Matty says, hi lads, hi all. Hello Matty, how are you? And Stagman says, hi Alan, enjoying your new videos. Oh, thank you Stagman. Yeah, yeah I thought it, it's thought it might, a bit more interesting to go for a walk. Considering we've, we've finally worked out, well, with the help of Ken, how to get load on the phone. And uh, they give you about, what is it, 20 gigabytes, something like that? Yeah, about that. But you only get seven days. It's this Go, it's this Go 129 uh, Globe network. But yeah, now, now, I've, now we've got load on the phones, we've got internet. Although the internet was down for about two days, yesterday and the day before, it was completely down. It was only working sporadically. So we went for two days without internet, but you have to get used to that here. The electric goes out quite often, although it's been behaving itself for a while. Internet's forever going down. <laughs> okay, uh, we have Christian. Um, Philippines is called Philippines. You have to pay always extra fees and taxes for government. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they know they know how to charge in the government. <laughs> <laughs> they all they all want their money. They all want their cut. That's why we've got to keep paying for these visa extensions. Before the 15th of March, I have to go back to Davao City, which I think is my closest B1 immigration centre where I have to get my next two months visa, where I, I'll actually get my ACR card this time. So it's a pain because it's like a three hour journey from here. Right, now we've got, we have LB Kerr. Are you still working at the taxi place? Who's that? LB Kerr. Oh, L, L Biker maybe. L Biker. Taxi place. Are you still working at the taxi place? That must mean Steve's in Huntingdon. Yes. No, no, no. I'm. We're in the Philippines now. No, I, I, I gave my job up to come to the Philippines and live. 
So we're seeing how it's going. Fire engine. We caught this one just in time. They had a parade yesterday, all to do with the emergency services here, and it looks like this is a bit more of a parade. This, I think, no, it's not. There's one of the streets. I'm gonna, I'll go up there shortly. It's the busiest street in in town. The traffic is just nothing but tuk-tuks and motorcycles and sidecars. Uh, any more comments coming yes, up? We've got plenty more because you talk too much. Matty England, uh, good thanks. It's snowing here in Bristol at the moment. Work up to about two inches of it. Snowing? Holy crap! I'll tell you what, I don't, Matty, I don't miss the cold. We've got the, the mornings I used to wake up and the cars are covered in frost and flipping heck, it's like I don't want to go to work and you get to work and the bloody heat is packed up you're, and you've got to fix cars and your hands are going numb. Well, we, we seem to have a bit of uh, emergency services coming down here. Okay, uh, Finn Hogan. Hi, Alan and Tyler. Great video. Hello to you too. Hello, Finn. How are you doing? L biker again. All right, nice. Uh, we'll miss the Mondeo content. I'm having an issue with my two litre uh, TDCI Focus ST Ford replace timing belt, and it failed. And they are putting a new engine in now. Oh dear. Have fun over there, mate. Oh, why did the timing belt? Well, the new timing belt fail. I'm just coming out of the heat for a minute because I think my phone's going to overheat. I'm, I'm actually not joking, my, my telephone is literally roasting and it will come up with a temperature warning and it may cut out. Uh, it's hot in my hand, so I'm coming out of the sun. It's hard to actually explain how hot it is here. But. Hi Aisha, how are you doing? Uh, my John 64, raining and cold here in the East Midlands. John, hi John. I don't miss the I don't miss the UK weather. I do like that. I do like the summers in England. They're very nice at times. I've always been partial to a nice heat wave. Oh nice. I, I heard you had a lot of rain over there lately. I, I, do, I do have, although I'm over here, on my weather app on my phone, I can see the UK weather day by day and I compare it to the weather over here. And from what I'm seeing in the UK, it, it ranges from minus one probably to about 13 degrees during the day, some days. Where over here, it'll range from 21 degrees at night, early hours of the morning, to around about 33, 34 during the day. It's just, since I've been here, it's been more of the same every day. We've had a couple heavy downpours and that's about it. It's, it's just like big clouds or water wall sunshine. We do get a few days that it's overcast, but it's still, it's still very warm. And my phone has cooled down a little bit now. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Old biker again. I believe they didn't time my high, fresh, high pressure fuel pump when I had seals replaced, so it caused 15 teeth to strip on belts. Oh, I see. So that caused it. Yeah, it, what, what car is that again? Mark, Mark 5 Mondale, is it? Uh, or Mark 4? 
All oh, right, I think if, if that's the uh, the engine that went in the Mark V Mondeos, then even the Mark IVs, I found that if the if the timing belt strips, it will it will hit all the the valves, and basically it won't bend the valves unless you're very un unlucky. It, what it will do, it will break all the rockers in the engine. So I mean, they're quite expensive. They're about nearly twenty pound a rocker. Uh, you'd have to replace all the rockers. It might probably, well, it probably could well damage the camshafts as well. So if, if it's hit all the rockers, I'd probably change the, both camshafts or at least check, make sure they're checked properly because the lobes can move on the shafts and also the actual cogs that the chain goes on, they can, uh, teeth can get snapped off of them and they can spin a little bit on the camshaft. So uh, I'll be very wary there. If, if it was just the chain to snap, then there's a like 95 percent chance it won't do any damage at all you'd be lucky if you get one broken rocker um right we've got a lot of comments now but i'll go with the story on the he replied yes it's not all rockers and valves hit pistons yeah you should you shouldn't have any any bent valves and i have never <clears throat> in all my days on any of them engines ever ever had a bent valve if you've got a bent valve you've been extremely unlucky oh okay yeah my hands getting rather hot Aisha <laughs> <laughs> You know, I could run around with this phone all day and it's no problem. Just over here, if I'm in the sun, it just fries your phone. <clears throat> we'll go, we'll try and stay in the shade for the time being. I'll keep moving, get some, get some wind going on it. <clears throat> we have Matty England. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing my clutch master cylinder in the snow later. Fun. Oh, nice. What's this place? It's a gaming cafe. Oh, you can play. You can play computer games in here. I never even knew that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they got headphones on. Um, we got Technoman. What's to go in the Philippines with EVs? <coughs> Funny you should say that. <coughs> you know. Uh, all these little like tuk tuk things that are down there, well, that's the blue one going past. They've made electric versions of them. And in Manila, on quite a number of the roads, they've just, they're bringing out a law to ban them being used. There's a sewing shop here. Yeah, that they're actually banning a lot of these EVs on certain roads in Manila. They're bringing out a law to do that. I think because they deem them not suitable for the heavy traffic and dangerous and it's so hot yeah fry the batteries yeah I, I can't imagine electric battery well batteries being used in these kind of temperatures it's going to end badly they're going to start they're going to catch fire can you imagine these these batteries they're going to get warm aren't they and in in these kind of temperatures stuck in heavy traffic where it's going to be frying i reckon they're going to be going up in flames so I reckon they're taking preemptive action over here and not allowing them on the road. There's a place just down the road from here. They are selling the, the, the electric scooters and they're actually not even that dear. I'm not, I wouldn't buy one. But no, as far as electric vehicles over here go, you don't really see them. And there certainly are no electric charging points that I've ever seen. I'll tell you what John, at Christmas time you'll probably be okay because that's the time that it's not that hot. And Christmas is a very big thing over here, it's very festive. Oh yeah, Christmas starts around about July I believe and it doesn't finish until, they only took the decorations down last week 
off the highway. Yeah, the decorate they, they it's very extended Christmas over here. says make sure you keep hydrated navy are looking for a new mechanic if you ever want to come back <laughs> made in the royal navy dad <laughs> oh, i think my days of fixing cars are over yeah time's ticking on for you now dad Go yeah you, you, people don't remember I've, I've i've worked for 40 years fixing cars there, there comes a point when you want to do something different be that just walking around a, a town on the other side of the world, it doesn't matter. Okay, we have Vegemite. So good to see father and son exploring a new world together. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. I love my dad very much. Well, you've got a... Hello! Do you want a haircut, Tyler? No, he needs a haircut. No, I don't. I love my hair. My hair is fine. By the way, you're on YouTube. It's a live stream. <laughs> I don't think they understand me. Because <coughs> you speak too fast. Yeah, yeah they, a lot of them say I'm slang. They don't understand the slang. <laughs> this, is, this is actually a good shop. They sell all kinds of engines here. Motors for all, call, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Matt, we've got Matty again. Yeah, if your phone is overheating, then EVs will be the same. Yeah, well, that, that, just, that just proves the point, doesn't it? My phone was literally burning my hand and I'm thinking to myself it's going to come up with a temperature warning and shut itself down. It's done that a few times in the past, so... But I was walking up the street in the bloody sun, wasn't I? We've got Dwayne, can you fit solar to Ken's place to cut the cost of electric and all that sunshine? That's a good idea. Well, you probably could, but the, the trouble is, when you start looking into solar, it, it kind of, a lot of these solar panels are rubbish. They're cheap and nasty. And by the time you've bought them and installed them and paid for all of that, the, the actual time it takes to get your money back, you're wasting your time. Apparently the only solar panels that are actually worth having are the ones NASA have. <laughs> I don't, and, and besides that, the electric bill over here, it's not that bad. I was, I was paying £70 a month in Huntingdon on a fixed direct debit plan where if I use more, they'll up, they'll up it. If I use less, I'll, I'll be in credit. But it was still £70 a month. Over here, it's about 30 35 at the most. Oh, we've got a little yeah. fountain going on here. Oh, look, that's nice. Yeah, bye, John. I'm actually going to Thailand Christmas also. A return flight from Bangkok is only £170. That's good. That's pretty damn good. Right, we'll make our way further along. Oh, Dad. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This will be a good one for you, Dad. My John says, they, they say the Luton Airport car park fire was actually started by an EV. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, yeah, there was also a, a ship on the, on the sea headed for Bahrain and all that, full of uh, fancy cars for the, for the you know, Arab states, and apparently it's an EV that set that boat on fire. And there was about 5,000 cars on that. Oh yeah, there's been lots of EV fires. But like every... Hey, <laughs> hello, how you doing? <laughs> but like, like everything else, they keep that quiet, don't they? Because that's not that's the narrative they want to push, that everything is good. We have uh, Techman. Come across any just stop oil road blockers yet? No! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I tell you, don't get none of that crap over here. I tell you, what goes on in the UK is disgusting. The government allowing it to go on. If any of that went on over here, they'd fucking shoot them. You consider most people or most shops have got shotguns. They won't fuck around over here with all that bullshit. <laughs> this, this country, Filipinos come first. Foreigners and all that, they come second. <clears throat> so if you mess around, you're in big trouble. 
they won't fuck around. <laughs> okay, uh... And I'll tell you what, it's, it's pretty much harmony over here. I know we're, we're in, we're, there are their trouble spots in this country, obviously. But where we're at right now in this part, it's, it's nice. I haven't seen any problems yet. So, and it, it goes to show when you walk down the street, people just come up to you and say hello, people waving all the time. I never used to get that in England. You'd probably get the finger or a fuck off or something like that. Classic wanker. Yeah. Yeah, people on the roads, people on the roads driving cars in England, so aggressive all the time. Oh, you've cut me up. Fucking beep, beep, beep on the horn. You know, over here, because I don't have traffic lights and, and you know, all that stuff, everyone just filters in. And it seems to work. I, I see very, very little aggression on the roads. When, whenever cars are passing you, they're like, bit bit behind you, so just to let you know that they're, they're there. My John says, hydrogen cars uh, have more chance of being in the future than EVs. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that that's a much better. I know they've already made the engines, they've just got to refine them a bit better. Oh, I'm just going to swap that round. we got D beerers. Are you going to live off what you make on YouTube or are you going to start a business? <laughs> no, I can't, I can't even do any of that. I can't work or anything like that. But I, <clears throat> as, as far as YouTube goes, I mean, it's a waste. You can't rely on something like that. I, I have a house. I will make a video one day because I got lucky, very lucky. I managed to pay my mortgage off in 15 years, 14 years. It took me to pay from scratch. From, 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 I was literally living in the back of my van, homeless, okay? And 14 years later, I, uh, I paid my mortgage off. And I managed to get a mortgage on a brand spanking new house uh, while I was living in the back of my van with no address. And that was just, that was in 2009, just after the financial crisis, uh, so-called. So, I might do a video on that and explain it, but I got very lucky. Certain things I'd done years ago all came together at the right time, which enabled me to pay the house off. So, I've got some money coming in per month from the house now, because I've rented it out. So that would tick me over. It's not a great deal, but I've, get, I've, I've got to the point where you, I know what to buy, where to go, what to do. So I'm not living like flinging money around. I'm living quite a simple life, but I found in life, I don't really need that much. If I just have a few beers, watermelon, fruits, walk around, enjoy the, hello, enjoy the sunshine. That's what it's all about. You've got, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to enjoy where you are. Vegemite, mm. mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. It's not, that's joshing. <laughs> it's not mid, what, who's that? Vegemite. Ve Vegemite, it's not midday. I do go out at midday though, so I, you can, I do fall under that category. But uh, it's, it's gone, what time is it now? It must be half four in the afternoon. Quarter to five. What? It's quarter to five in the evening now. So, uh, oh, but it's still warm. It's really warm. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite good at going out at midday. Yeah, I burn my head. Let me uh, spin this camera around. Have we walked up the street where the intro is? Yes, we've been there two times. Right, I'm going to flip this round. You see that there? <coughs> the sign on that sidecar, motorcycle, says Mayanyag Maramag. That means beautiful Maramag. That's the name for this town, beautiful Maramag. <coughs> I have to learn a few key words over here. 
I haven't learned any yet. Well, uh, I know a few words, but not enough to sort of like get me by. So it'll be much more interesting when I can speak to some of these people a bit more fluently. So Tyler, where would you like to go? Let's go over the bus depot. said there's been three stabbing murders here in Bristol just since Christmas. Getting crazy lately. Three stabbing murders. Yeah. Yeah, I heard, uh, I watched my Artusi uh, TV, you know. Heard there was something going on in South London again. I don't know whether it was today or yesterday. Someone with a shotgun on the back of a moped shooting people. It's, it's terrible what's going on in England. Absolutely disgusting. The government are doing nothing about it. You've got bloody... They're all burying their heads in the sand. If, if, Labour, get, if Labour get in, you, you're probably going to get more, more of the same, or even worse. <coughs> this is the actual bus terminal of Merrimag. It's massive. There's buses coming out of here constantly, all day long. It's unbelievable the amount of buses that are in this place. Uh, we've got Mondo, Darth, Dasa Brush. Hi Alan, are you missing the cold and wet yet and frost? Oh, ha hello Mondo, how are you? It's nice to hear from you. I can see you're up early in the morning, even though, what's it, half eight now? Nine o'clock? Yeah, quarter to nine. Yeah, I, I, I guess I do miss England a bit, but I don't miss the weather. I certainly don't miss the weather. I'll tell you what I love about over here. When you want to find something that you really want, you can search for it all day long and you won't find it. That's what I love. Then I go home and I haven't spent nothing. <laughs> yeah, my dad loves headaches. Yeah. <laughs> we went over to a shopping mall today, Robinson Shopping Mall in Valencia City. And it was lovely in there. When's the Chow King? Lovely food, Chinese food, even though it's McDonald's style. But it was the aircon in that in that shopping centre was fantastic. You Tyler actually got so cold he had to go out again. Yeah, my body has... Uh, he couldn't stay in the aircon, had to go outside. When we're in Chalking, it must have been 15 degrees in there, and my body's adapted to this heat, so I just could not handle it. I was shivering, I got goosebumps, a lot. Now Tyler, some people will be asking, what are you going to be doing over here, and how are you enjoying it over here, or aren't you enjoying it over here? <laughs> so, as far as... Without going into too much, number one, are you enjoying it over here or do you hate it? Well, it's the best, it's the best of both worlds. I really do love it over here. There's a lot more freedom. I don't even have a license or a plate. And I'll hop on my motorcycle and I'm touring around looking on at this point. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, as far as your education goes, we can't do nothing at the moment until we get the student permit. And we can't get the student permit until you get your ACR card. So once that's established around about the 15th of March, then we'll move things along uh, and hopefully get you into the college or university over here. That's where we stand at the moment. If it all goes to wrong, then we'll, we'll work it out as we go along. But I say, at that, as it stands at the minute, that's what we're trying to do. So it's just time consuming, but in the meantime, we're just enjoying life. Uh, my John says that they could go to school, Alan, to learn the local language, then you can stay over there on an educational visa. Yeah, you see, these are, no doubt there's loopholes, the same as they are in Britain that you can get around certain things. The only thing is I don't want to go to school. <laughs> but I might look into that, you know. That might be well worth looking into. 
Thank you very much. Um, Aisha says, your views on what's happening in the UK are spot on. I watch 2Z TV too. <coughs> yeah, it, it, England is not the country I grew up in. They are letting the Islamists take over. They are getting more brave all the time and they are pushing harder and harder. And this fucking government, they know, they know that the Islamists will get themselves in a position of power and to the point they take over. And if they do that, they will imp impose their Sharia law on the country and then all the people in the country will be fucked because all the people that, that are Christians will not want to live under Sharia law. And that is what will happen. So the government ought to sort it out before it's too late, and it's already getting to that point now. Sean Sparks to 20,005 says, Hi Alan, glad you're doing well. Looks great. Do you still hear from Monica? Uh, yes, yes, I hear from Monica quite often. We still stay in contact. One, uh, no doubt one day I'll get her to come on the live stream with us when she, if she's got a night off or something. So yeah, I'm, I'm still in contact with everyone I used to work with. I'm still in contact, oh, watch out, with, uh, with Steve at Steve's Taxis. There's our bus. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, so, race car legends. Hey, Alan, sorry, I was going to come see you because you left. I really hope you are enjoying your new life from Barry. Oh, hello Race Car Legends, that Barry in South Wales. Yeah, comment down below if it is. Um, I think it is, there's only one place I know called Barry. <laughs> uh, Mondo says, how is the balloon going down? Just like eating apples now. <laughs> no, 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 no. The only time I ate balloon was that once. It was okay, but it's just not me. So I shan't go there again. I done it for the video and, and that's it. If I, if I liked it, like it tasted like ice cream or something like that, then I'd probably eat more, but no. Chicken ice cream. Um, and he also said, is that, we should go this way. I've been down here all the time. Right. Is there any old British cars or models or town Chinese buses. Any what? Is there any old British cars or models or town Chinese buses? I should, I should think there's Chinese buses. I don't really, do you know, I've not paid much attention to the actual makes of some of these vehicles. Uh, there's no old British cars that I can see. Um. What you tend to get out here majority of, of vehicles are pickup trucks like this Hilux sexy Hilux SUVs Toyota uh, Toyota yeah, Fortuners and Suzuki, stuff like Suzuki Swift yeah Suzuki Summerest or whatever Ford, Ford Everest yep Ford Territory yeah there's, there's there's lots of Ford Raptors out here oh yeah, yeah, yeah. loads of them and the unmonster trucks, bloody hell. Not the uh, the stunt monster trucks. It just means pickups with really big wheels. Yeah, and raised suspension. Yeah. <coughs> um, I've got my John. I did I did that in Thailand. I managed to stay in the country over two years. I'm guessing he's talking about the educational visa. Yeah. Um, going back to school only needs to be two hours a week. Oh right. That's in Thailand, so it might not be the same here. Yeah. But... Oh, what is it? This, this, these places here. Yeah, it doesn't actually say it. They call them vulcanizing, vulcanizing places where they change tires. I don't think this is the tire place. Uh, race car legends. It's. Um... No, Barry, you worked with. Oh, oh, hello, Barry. How are you doing? 
Are you still, you're still working uh, the same place in, uh, where was it? Wood Walton? At the right racing car place, the historic racing car place. Yeah, they take people, rich people uh, who own like historic racing cars. They, they do them up and then they, like Barry will do them up and then they'll race them on racetracks Ooh. around the world. Uh, Matty England, what's the price of petrol over there? It was around about 62 pesos a litre, which is what, about 85 pence a litre. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I don't know what it is in England. I have, yeah. I have no idea what the price of fuel is in England per litre, unleaded. The funny thing is, when over here, if you want unleaded fuel, the actual nozzle handle is red like it would be four star petrol they but over in england un unleaded like 95 ron is a green handle and it's red over here they even do 91 91 ron petrol over here which is like low low quality i guess that's for a lot of the motorbikes wait Special gasoline is 91 Ron then, I'm guessing. No, special, we call special gasoline over here the 95 Ron, oh, which is just standard un unleaded. They don't have none of that E10 stuff over here. They know that, that crap they're trying to put on people now. Uh, Tracy but Oliver, any ULEZ zones out there? <laughs> Sadiq Khan, kiss my fucking asshole. No, they haven't. <laughs> No, I will say though, joking aside, when you get out on the main highways, because of most of the lorries and vehicles are old and polluting, you can literally see the clouds of smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe, moggy in places when the vehicles are going past and you don't want to be breathing it in. Especially with those big trucks. Uh, where do you want to go now? That loops back around so it continues straight probably. Um, Andy Archer, how are you both getting on over there, Alan? Still living the dream? I don't know if you'd call it a dream, but uh, you've, you've got to have the right frame of mind. You've got, to, you've got to get into it. It's not easy. Some people are different. Some people we might take to them like duck off water for ducks back. But it's another world over here. Things are done very, very differently in almost every way. And you've got to accept that. And there, there is no hurry, hurry, hurry. You've got to be patient here. That's one definite. It's like when we go into this store, in there's a new store that's opened. If you pick something off the shelf and you want to buy it, you, can't, you don't just take it to the till. One of the assistants walking around the shop, and there's lots of assistants, they will come up to you and they will give you a ticket. They will write down what you've got in your hand and they'll give you a ticket. You then take the item and that ticket to the, to the till where you'll pay for it. And then the guard will check the ticket before you go out the door and, and sign it off to make sure you're walking out the door with the right goods in your hand. <coughs> um. Stephen says, Hi guys, can you just give a quick shout out to Monko, whoever that is. Hello, hello Monko. <laughs> um, Mondo says... Mon Mondo? No, 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 this guy, Stephen said, Hi guys, can you just give a quick shout out to Monko? Hello Monko. And then Mondo says, Should we all be looking to buy new hats and hiring suits? Oh, I don't understand. Neither, neither. Uh, Steve Beery said, can you drink the tap water? Because I don't see any water bottles littering the ground. They do sell bottled water over here. Uh, when it comes to tap water, not that I've been in that many places that I've actually got taps that I've, well, I haven't drunk out of no taps myself. Uh, I just buy the bottled water if I have a drink. Or what they tend to have is, uh, you seen them, them big blue 
big blue bottles, they hold about 20 litres or more, and you put it on top of a filter thing of a tap, the, the, you know, the, the bloody uh, spring water or whatever it is. You just buy 20 litres at a time and just get, just drink it out of that, or just buy bottled water, which is about half the price over here and what it is in England. But I don't drink out of taps over here. No, not at all. Uh, D Beer has said, oh no, no, my John said, no chance of reaching net zero over there then. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Bloody net zero. That, that's a load of bollocks, isn't it, John? Net zero. All that's going to do is make everybody poor, put everybody into fuel poverty. I think the people over here are more concerned with getting on with their lives and earning, the, uh, earning money. Vegemite says, many of us use 91 for cars here in OZ, cheaper than 95 or 98. Do you think unleaded 91 not good for cars? That OZ is Oz. Uh, OZ is Oz means Australia, the land of Oz. Oh, Aussie. Yeah. I just want sort to of clear that up. Uh, I've not used the 91 Ron. We only use the 95 in, in the car that's over here. So I couldn't tell you. I said to Tyler as well, because he's got this uh, Kawasaki dirt bike. It's a four stroke engine. I said, just put, this, just put the 95 Ron in it. And it takes about... <laughs> In English money, fibre, if that to fill it up. <laughs> so it's neither here nor there, but no, I, I wouldn't use it myself. So I, I don't know. Uh, There's another truck full of sugar cane. Mondo said, yeah, just to let you know, we are losing the sound. It's because it's too loud out here. All right. So it might be the fact that I've got the Hello, walk in. <laughs> I've got the microphone towards the traffic, if you know what I mean. I'd have to flip the phone around. I can put my mouth a bit closer to the, to the actual microphone on the phone. I need, I need to, to buy a little wireless lavalier microphone for this telephone. Unfortunately, the, this phone need, takes a lightning connector only. It hasn't got a jack pin. I think Ken's on the live stream. Is she? Kenna's farm. Oh yeah, that's Ken. Watching from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Ken, how's it going? Uh, uh, I didn't think you were going to actually join in on the live stream. Okay. Um, we're still walking around. It's quite nice out here. I think it's time to call it. Call it a day soon. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head back to the actual where we started, where we parked up. Okay, so my John, uh, of course it it is the, the sad thing is people actually believe what the government push at like the net zero and stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. You wouldn't believe how many morons there are in in England. It just there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, Matty's saying hi to Ken. She's replying hi back. Um, race car or Barry is saying, I left a comment on the last video at Steve's. Take a look when you get a minute. Really enjoyed the video. A different life ago, buddy. Yeah, I keep saying it, but it does feel like the 1970s here or the early 80s that's that's the kind of picture i get especially when you go into a lot of the department stores the, the type of items they're selling and just the general way of life the way things are paid for it's cash over here cash is definitely king that's for sure most places don't even take credit or debit card they, they do exist but they're hidden in most places even in the government offices, they only take... When I go to the immigration, they'll only accept cash. 
I wonder why. Uh, roaming nomad. In the UK, if you drink a pint of water from a tap, on average, it's already been through seven people, bottled water only. Yeah, I, I only drunk bottled water in the UK anyway. You know, as time goes by, I got more and more mistrusting ever since 2016, since, since Brexit and Donald Trump, <laughs> that was the point that I saw the bias, the left wing bias. And at that point, I started to sort of like see a bit more and more of politics. And to be honest with you, you've got to switch off from this crap from time to time or it'll do you in. It's annoying just to see what's happening to, to England. Okay, um, Andy says, how are your handyman skills coming along, coming on Alan? Oh, I've, I've done a few little bits and pieces, but not much. There's, uh, there's more I can, I've got to do, but uh, all in good time. Uh, Robert, glad you're enjoying life out there. I'm jealous in many ways. This is a, this is a good spot, just here, Tyler. Whoa! Careful. <laughs> Whoa! You see, this junction here, there's no, there's no traffic lights, there's no painted lines on the ground, there's no nothing. And you look at all the vehicles, how everyone just filters in and gets by. Isn't that amazing? No one's getting angry, no road rage, everyone's just enjoying it. And when they all bib their horns, they give a little bib bib on their horn to let you know you're there, they're there. Um, my John. There's I... a Suzuki. Suzuki something. A Suzuki Desire. <laughs> never, never heard of it. My John says, I'd be happy to return back to 1980. <laughs> you see, we can stand here. They're, the people out here are sharp. They're really sharp. And if they see you with a camera, or even though it's only my mobile phone, I don't bring my DSLR out because it's it's too in your face and it brings too much attention to you. But even if you're holding your phone up, they'll see you and they'll they'll wave and they'll want to be in on the, in on the film or the picture. So it's good atmosphere. They're good, happy people. Yeah. It's because they're not oppressed. Yeah. I think they're free people. I think Ken put it beautifully. Out here, you are the navigator of your own life. Yeah, you haven't good. got, although they, they, you know, the government, you can say what you like about the government here and there and anywhere. It's not oppressing you over here. They're not in your face. There's not a, you have to do X, Y and Z every single day, otherwise we're going to fine you. There's no speed cameras, there's no policemen waiting around the corner to nick you for God knows what. There's no woke pricks over here. Martin Richmond, are you going to open a garage there? No. <laughs> Alan's workshop. <laughs> right, I say we should cross, go along. Yeah. We are in the busiest street at the moment. Watch how we we yeah. traffic. Yeah, look, look at this truck. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, high lux. Yeah, I've got to get across to the other side of the road. I'm going. Sounds cutting out again. All right. Right, we'll start heading our way back to the car now. My John, or no, uh, Matty England first. Looks like a better way of life for, sh for sure. It is better living out here, I tell you. Well, if you consider, there's 117 million people over here, and. <laughs> I should think the majority of them you come across will have a smile on their face. 
Hello. Did you hear about God the Mother? No. no. God the Mother. God the Mother. We are preaching God the Mother. We have God the Father in heaven. Oh right, I see. We do go to church on a Sunday, Sunday. but it's in Don Carlos. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, but thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Salamat. Um, yeah, he, he was uh, looking for subscriptions for his church. So, very religious out here. Big, big Catholic community. Oh no, here we go. It's all just an illusion, said. When do you get the pleasure of seeing Tyler drink too much and singing at the karaoke stage? Fantastic entertainment. <laughs> oh man. Well. <laughs> 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 Well, Tyler has, is doing what, what I guess most of us have done in our lives. He's got blind drunk, he's thrown up, he's, he's, you know, it's a case of, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity. Yep, you've fallen off your dirt bike, you've grazed your arm. Yeah. Now you've bought a motorcycle jacket. So, uh, all I need now is the trousers, really, to be fully protected. Yeah. But even then, my, my torso is where all my organs are. It's more important. Yeah, it's, you've, you've, it's all very well. I don't know. You've got to live, you've got to experience life. You've got to make the mistakes. Once you make the mistakes, and then you can say, well, I shan't do that again. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Like we all do. Um. <clears throat> hey, have we got a time check? Uh, 5.13. Quarter past five. The, the one downside I, I don't like over here, it's dark by six. You, every day, 12 months a year, it will be dark by 6 p.m. It's like all year round, there just seems to be one kind of temperature it, it wavers a little bit here and there but it's warm all year round there's no seasons like you would find back in England spring summer autumn and winter there's just two seasons here summer hello summer and the rainy season but from what I've seen, the rain seems to be very few and far between at the minute. Uh, right, so we've got a few comments to go through now. Vegemite, agreed. Drivers in Perth are very aggressive and like to harass cars that are obeying the speed limit. Yeah, they call them Sunday drivers and it's like, people get really pissed off when you've got someone in front of you that's going slow. But I've, I've pointed out over here, because of the, the main highways are quite wide and they're normally three or four lanes wide either side, you, you can sit in the middle lane. If someone wants to overtake you, they'll just overtake either side. It doesn't seem to be, although there is, the outside lane should be the overtaking lane. Nobody enforces anything here. You, overtake whatever side you want no one seems to care or get angry about it and I mean I can drive fast I can drive slow no one cares um, right. does crime happen there I mean is it better than England Robert says oh there, there, there obviously is crime I've not seen any uh, I don't know I can't I, I mean I can't say what goes on because I've not been in any situation, I've not seen any crime myself, but obviously there is. But I can, I can only put it this way, in England, if I was walking down the street, even in my own hometown, especially if I was in London, because I have been down to London recently, and I was, I was down London when they were having one of them Palestinian marches and I didn't feel safe. I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. Yet here, 
I just walk around, even though me and Tyler stick out like a sore thumb, because <laughs> we're probably in such a minority here, everyone sees us, uh, we don't get any abuse showing us. No, it's, it's always positivity, encouragement, yeah. kindness, hey bro, Yeah. Like I'll go to pick up Nicole from school and all the kids there come around me, hey bro, they're fist bumping me, high fiving me, showing love. Yeah. It's very lovely. Yeah, I mean if, if a point comes where if I do get a, a problem, I'll, I'll say so, but I mean, it just hasn't happened. I've been here, how long have we been here? Month, about a month and a half. Month and a half. I've not, I, do you know, I just feel safe as houses here. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm in Minda now. I mean, you know, if you look on the government website, fair enough, I'm not on the west side, I'm on the east, more east side, the Davo side. Uh, it's still travel with, with caution or something like that, but. You know, I'm. Oh, caution, death there, by kindness. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of foreigners over here. It's just that most of them seem to congregate in certain parts of the Philippines, and it doesn't happen to be here. There are a few around here, but not many. Not even double digits, I'd say. Right, watch out. Oh. Um, Matty England. Yeah, you haven't lived until you've come off a few dirt bikes. Quick, quick, quick. That is certainly true, Matty. I've had that experience and I never want it to happen again. Yeah, Tyler fell off his bike. Uh, it was a big rock in the road, in the gravel track you were on, or road, yeah, was it? A gravel turning, just off the highway. Yeah, uh, you've, you've got to watch out for that because the roads here are pretty much like this. Uh, come off it. And uh, there can be rocks and all sorts in the middle of the road hello uh, you know you just got to be aware of what's there you hit a rock with your hello my boo hi <laughs> uh, welcome ah. saying welcome to them in their own country <laughs> um dbeerers tyler should buy a helmet and be the odd man out, no one seems to wear them. I do already have one. Uh, I'm more of the better safe than sorry. I don't want to crack my skull open on my next accident. Yeah, no, you've got you've got a helmet. You've got actually four helmets here, I think. Well, uh. I've given two of them. I've got my original helmet that I bought last year. The helmet that I got from when I bought the bike, which I gave to Nicole. Mm -hmm. And then this helmet that I have now by Trials bike helmet. Um, Alan Cobbin, or Cobin. Hello Alan. Maramag is 100% more better than the UK. That is true. It's a, do you know the funny, it's a small town and there really isn't much here, but it's, it's buzzing. We're in late afternoon now, well evening time, early evening. All the street foods will be coming out now. So when it gets dark, there'll be probably 50, 60 sellers all, all cooking their barbecue food. A lot of it will all be the same stuff, but there's so much street food going on in the evenings. It's just pleasant to walk around and, and the temperature, it, when it, it cools down a little bit in the evening. So, and you get a breeze. It's, it's nice when you get the cool breeze on you. Oh, yes, yes. Cause sometimes during the day, it can be so stuffy and hot and humid and, Oh, makes you sweat. Yeah. Um, Nicholas Grant, you have to come back. There's a Wendy's at Brampton Hut now. <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> Didn't they firebomb Wendy's in America? BLM riots or whatever it was. Uh, Robert, thanks guys. Like you say, more like Britain 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, look at this truck, Izuzu. <coughs> I like these trucks. Right, well, I guess that's about it. We're back where we started now. 
it's my favourite little cafes here. Oh, it's got uh, it's got wheels off it. Problems. But yeah, there's a little cafe here called uh, Bias. If I can say it right. Yeah, it's all. They have shutters. They pull down during the night time. But during the daytime, it's all like they're all up and open, so you get a breeze through there. And it's really nice in there. They do lovely cold drinks and burgers and pizzas and all stuff like that. So yeah, we sit in there quite often. But there's there's so many places like that around all night long, all over the place. So if you want something to eat, you're just sport for choice. A lot of these places you wouldn't like the food. Well, I don't. It's not my kind of thing. But quite often that you'll find some good places that do nice bits of chicken and stuff. Anyway, we thought we'd have a little walk around Maramag Town because uh, something to do, kill a few hours and put a live stream out. <laughs> so, but anyway, I better call it a day and end the live stream. Thank you everybody for joining in. It's been much appreciated to come and walk with us. I will do some more. What we'll probably do is next time we'll go to Don Carlos in the town or pick one of the other towns that we uh, dotted around. There's so many of them. And we'll just do walk arounds and uh, just see what we can see. I'll probably pop my head in some of the shops next time a bit more or if there's anything a bit more interesting. We have noticed a lot of the towns here, they all seem to have a similar format, don't they? Yeah. It's the same kind of layout. But there again, everything's got its unique to it. I think the buildings and everything are, they're not the, they're not the greatest, but <laughs> the infrastructure here isn't brilliant, but it's interesting. This is what I mean, it, this is what I love about it. It's interesting. It's not the world I came from, but I'm loving it. Anyway, people, thank you very much for joining in. We shall uh, call it a night and then head back home before it gets dark. So I'll see you all in the next one. See ya. See ya.